This is so much fun. Keep your feet on, keep your feet on. Keep your feet on, oh. We're in Ecuador and not only are we riding our bikes down the most active volcano in the country, but we're also spending the night here in one of the coolest places we've ever been. This is Cotopaxi. It's 19,000 feet tall, and it's had lava and mud flows that have reached both the Pacific Ocean and the Amazon River. It's not all fun and games though, because if you get hurt while riding here, it's a long way to the hospital with pretty limited search and rescue options. We made it to Cotopaxi. That's the volcano behind me. And as you can see, it's completely socked in right now. So we gotta do some stuff a little bit down lower where it's clear right here. And we're gonna get started by going on a horseback ride and the kids are freaking out because they've never ridden horses before. Well, we didn't know we'd need to wear helmets. We would have brought our own if we had uh, known that, but we got these sweet ones here. These helmets are built for speed and looks as you can tell. <laughs> works. The kids are super excited. We get to wear these cool ponchos, look the part and Owen's ready for the rodeo. How are you feeling, Owen? Uh, nervous. Is it scary? Yeah. You're pretty high up. It's a big animal, right? Yeah. Just like riding a bike. I've been to Ecuador two times before this trip to race all the way around this volcano, and I've always dreamed about taking my family here to free ride down Cotopaxi, which we're doing tomorrow. It's one of the coolest experiences I've had on a bike, and hopefully this weather clears up for a big ride in the morning. This is so much fun. Like it's a little bit scary at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. We're on a pack of wild stallions. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it looks like when it poops. <laughs> Oh, look at Megan go. When we got here, you could barely see it. You could just see the very bottom with like those giant ruts. But now you can see like halfway up. That was awesome. You feel like we're caballeros out there riding around through the mountains. Learn 360s too. Check this out. <laughs> can we do it again? We had a good night's sleep and a great breakfast and we are ready for a pretty ridiculous day. So what we're doing is shuttling up the volcano just below the refugio. So bikes are loaded and everyone's got their gear ready. What we're gonna do is ride these trails that come down the volcanic slopes and the dirt is unlike anything I've ever ridden before. So it's this kind of like sandy type of stuff that's got usually the perfect amount of moisture and you can kind of slash and ski turn and it's really, really fun. How you doing, Owen? Freezing. Yeah, it's cold up here. So when you go up this high, the air pressure increases, so we can let a little bit more out of your tires. I think these Ken Penners are gonna be perfect for this, because they're nice open pattern and we'll dig into this sand. Look how good this dirt is. You ready to go down? Yeah. All right, we're taking off. So it's free riding, and it's the best thing ever. Just full on ski turns down this. Did you get some good ski turns in, Owen? Yeah. How about you, Milo? So much fun. Yeah. yeah, you can push the back wheel around just like you're skiing or snowboarding. Yeah, buddy. The dirt flying over my head. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever ridden anything like that? No. <laughs> so Juan is helping Megan figure out how to ride down this stuff. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Soon, next time we come here, my mom will be ripping down that. Yep. She's never ridden anything like this. Yeah. None of us had. You're doing awesome, Megan. Just back brake and dig in those wheels. <laughs> nice. 
Nice save. Nice, Megan. It's like your first day skiing. Exactly. <laughs> you have to trust to go a little bit faster. If you're gonna go really slow, it's impossible. Yeah. You have to let it flow a little. I'll follow you, Megan. Hey, don't go too fast, guys. Flash it out, Owen. Yeah. <laughs> this is so much fun. How fun is that? Fun. Marlo, what do you think? So crazy. Your slashes are I looking love good. It. Yeah, Megan. Shredding. What is that? That's fun. Those ruts from the other day were crazy. This is more my jam. This is good <laughs> stuff for sure. This is like, you can't do this like hardly anywhere else in the world. This is- No, it's completely unique. I almost crashed. My oh. front tire hit a rock. I was feeling overconfident and like I trusted something that I shouldn't have. And my front tire got sucked in. Ooh. Yeah, not so I almost sorry. crashed. It's good to have like a reminder to show who's lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a reminder where you don't crash with a close call and then you can ride out of it. Yeah. And uh, reel it back in. Yeah. I don't know what line this, to take. We're all gonna take the same line. Don't worry. Ready? You okay, Owen? Mm -hmm. You got this. Not too much front brake. It's just like skiing out of something. You wanna just feather your back brake more. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna go really nice and slow, Milo, and yeah. Owen can follow you? I can do that. Ready? Is that cool, Owen? Sure. You got, hey, if you don't want to do this, we can go around. Let's go around. But this looks fun. Okay. I'll go really slow for you. Let's creep down and see how it feels, okay? So nice and slow, Owen, control your speed. How's it feeling? How you doing, bud? Owen, keep your feet on, keep your feet on. Keep your feet on, Owen. Keep your feet on. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I told you I didn't want to do it. Hey, that was scary, wasn't it? Everyone crashes sometimes. Does anything hurt? No. I'm sorry, Owen. I said we can go around, and you said no. Because it looks fun. You're all good, Owen. That was a good crash. You got out of it just fine. It's scary though. It was pretty soft there, wasn't it, Owen? Yeah? Yeah, You got sand in your mouth? <laughs> what happened? He couldn't slow down. He was right behind you. And then he, he when he took his feet off to try and save himself, then he's, his weight went forward and it started throwing him forward and he couldn't save it from there. So the only way that you could have saved that, Owen, and the only way to get the traction you needed is to get down and back further so that your back tire had more traction like and more bite. Every trip has its highs and lows, and Owen's crash scared me as much as it scared him. As a dad taking my family on adventures to wild places, there will always be a chance that one of us will get hurt. Mountain biking and travel are inherently risky. However, I've found that the greatest experiences in my life have all come from taking risks, whether on the bike or in any aspect of my life. Teaching my family how to manage risk is one of the biggest lessons I can pass on to them. And of course Owen cheered up quickly as we rode down miles of incredible trail on this beautiful volcano. That was so good. That's so the best. Fun. Yeah. That's my favorite part of the trail. Me too, I think. How about mom? 
she did so good. She rode like 85% of that trail and a lot of it was like steep, like sandy and stuff. I know, I think she's getting used to the South American sketchy trails. Yeah. <laughs> Nice work pushing yourself. That's awesome. Thanks. When I just ride, I just Follow get super hyped. <laughs> you hyped right now? Yeah. <laughs> you hyped? Yeah. Let's finish this ride by ripping. We're riding into the mist now. Boy, this is cool. Nice work, everybody. I know. We made it down safe despite the weather and all the craziness out there. Owen's crash, which was scary. And it was an awesome day. So we're all cold and wet now. Let's head back to Tambopaxi and get some more locro to papa. The main building is up there where they have kind of bunk housing for climbers and that sort of thing that are coming to climb Cotopaxi as well as the restaurant. And it's a really sweet restaurant that we'll go eat at soon. But for now, we'll show you around where we're staying, which is where the separate rooms are here. And we got all the bikes, we'll have to put those inside in a few. I mean, there's views 365 degrees. So Cotopaxi's over there, more volcanoes over this way. So now let's go into our room. I'll show you where we're staying. So now we roll into the bedroom and this is, maybe the sickest bed spot I've ever seen. We got the wood burning stove and then the view looking over your toes here is straight out to Cotopaxi. So we got the nice big bed right there. We got bunk beds right here. Staying here makes this part of our trip that much more memorable because it has such a good atmosphere. Let's head over to the main lodge now to get some dinner. So this is the locro de papa, which means basically a soup of potato and I've been dreaming about this since the last time I was here. It's the best thing to have after you've been out in the rain and the weather and the wind all day long. It comes with avocado and cheese and some, uh, it's basically like roasted corn and it's a traditional dish here that you gotta get it when you come here. That is everybody as good as I remember. It is so good. So our time at Cotopaxi has come to an end. We're all loaded up and headed down to the jungle. So if you've been enjoying these videos, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along for the next one. We're heading to Mindo and it's a cloud forest. It's a lot lower elevation. We're losing about 10,000 feet of elevation to go way down. It's gonna be a lot warmer. It's the jungle there. So there's gonna be all kinds of animals and waterfalls and crazy stuff to see. So we're really excited for that and seeing something completely different for what we have seen here. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure. Owen, this weather's crazier than you are. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> this weather gets me. Look at my bike and then look at myself. It's crazy, so, jumping, but still love it, still having fun, so let's keep ripping. That's the attitude. <laughs>